Hi there, and welcome to another chaotic classroom clip. This one is aimed at grade 8 natural science learners doing natural sciences in the CAPS syllabus. And in this video, we are going to look at visible light, the reflection thereof. Now, there's also a video on refraction, so I suggest that you check that one out by clicking on the link. So what is reflection? Now, reflected light is light. It has changed direction. So when you think of reflection, you should be thinking of changing direction. But it continues to travel in the original material, which means if it was in air, it continues in air. If it was in glass, it continues in glass. Now, when we talk about reflection, we are going to have a plane or a reflective surface like the line we have over here. And we're going to have a light ray that's coming in and we're going to call that the incident ray. Now, once you have the incident ray, you then have to draw the normal. Now, the normal is an imaginary line that is perpendicular, that means it's 90 degrees, to the reflective surface. And then you're going to have an angle of incidence. Now, the angle of incidence is that little angle that's being formed by the incident ray and the normal, this imaginary perpendicular line. Then we have our reflected ray. That's the ray that's now going out. And you'll see that we have to follow the line of the arrow here. And the reflected ray is also going to make an angle with the normal, but this time we're going to call it the angle of reflection. So we have the incident ray, the reflected ray, and the two angles, the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection. Now, when it comes to reflection, there are three laws. The first law says that the incident ray, the reflected ray, and the normal lie in the same plane. So if we look at our picture again, you'll be able to see that all three of these are on the same side of the reflective surface. Our next law says that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. So again, let's have a look at our picture there. And you'll see that that little angle made by the incident ray and the normal, and the one that's made by the normal and the reflected ray, are the same size. And our third law states that the reflected ray and the incident ray are on opposite sides of the normal. So again, let's have a look at our picture there. And you'll be able to see on this side, the incident ray is on the left of the normal and the reflected ray is on the right of the normal. I hope this helps. Thank you for visiting the Chaotic Classroom.